go ahead. We, we was working up in the woods in, in uh, north of Flomington, logging, and uh, we was coming out late in the afternoon, and it fell right by the truck parallel with the road, and uh, set the woods on fire. There was planted pine all out there then. And we put the uh, fire out, and the next morning, when we went back up to work, I uh, carried a shovel with me, and I dug this thing up. And it looks green? It's green, yes, sir. And it's a kind of a green like you ain't never seen. It's a, I don't know what color you'd call it. It's just a, a crystal like green. And you can see through you it. You can see through it, yes. You can hold it up for the light and see through it. You see little things in it. Look like a little star or something other in it, all in it. Huh. And, uh, it's, it's strange. Maybe it's an alien spaceship. Might be. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the first one I'd ever seen. First one I'd ever found. You know, back when we was coming up, when there wasn't so many electric lights and all, we could see falling stars. I know you remember mm -hmm. seeing them. Mm -hmm. And that's what it what it was, just like a falling star. But we seen where it landed. Yeah. You and, were lucky to see that. Yeah. And before, you know, when we was coming up, we'd see them, but we would never know where they landed. Right. It was always away from us. Right. But that would come right down by the You've truck. probably never found another meteorite, have you? That's the only one I you ever found. That's the only found. one I ever found, yeah. I, not many people ever see one anyway. No, and I've been in the woods 60 years. I've been working since logging 60 years. Outside, you should see stuff that yeah. happens. Yes, yeah, Huh. A, a girl, I ain't never seen a green color like that. So this is a meteorite, and, and you've taken it to who? At the University of... The University of Florida over here to Miss Judy. And it's called a... A tectite, according to this, is this a, a doctor of geology? Yeah, it's the that president of the university. Oh, Judy Benz? Judy Benz, yeah. She's the one you've talked to. Yes, yeah, she comes sit right there in the chair. Judy Benz sat in that chair? Yes, sir. That chair She's right the there. president of the university yeah. now, you know. I've known her for a long time. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. She came from New Jersey. Yeah. On a dairy farm. Yeah. she got a farm now, Patty Mo City. Belongs huh. to her. Well, we don't. Go ahead. Well, at Youngstown. Well, me name. Look at you. And, uh, you know Judy Benz. Yeah. You, you think know, you could? She drinks coffee with us. Come down and drink coffee with yeah, us. Yeah. You think you could get her to drink a cup of coffee with me sometime? Oh uh, yeah. I'm sure I could. All right. She loves coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mhm. Mm and she took it to Tallahassee to have it certified. Uh huh. As a meteorite. Yeah. And then once they get that certified, you'll have. So, I mean, you did this in 1968. This... 1968, yes, sir. reason yeah. why I know it was in 1968 because I know where we were working at that time and my wife dug up the contract, the papers while I was cutting company wood in 1968. If I... What uh, what kind of work were you doing then? Logging. You were logging up yes, there. Sir. Cutting them cypress at Barnett Crossing. Barnett Crossing Cypress. What river is that? That's, uh, I think it's Big Escambia Creek. Big Escambia Creek? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And uh, that we got it. We brought it in with us. We well, had it I'm, all this time. I'm going to add a picture of the meteorite to uh, this little discussion, and I'm going to put it out there for people to see. Mr. Falk. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Falk has lived here in uh, Florida town on the uh, Escambia Bay for how many? Seven years. And how old are you now? Seventy-seven. I've lived right here on this spot all my life. All right. And uh, so, Mr. Falk has been in the timber business forever. We, as a matter of fact, we came down here to look at this deadhead log he's pulled out of the river. Uh, you got this out of the Little River? Little River, yes. In Alabama. In Alabama, yes. I think it's illegal to get them out in Florida, isn't it? Well, you got to have a permit to get them. Probably even in Alabama, don't you? No, you don't have to have a permit in Alabama. Okay. But anyway, we're going to see about selling some of these logs and see if uh, Mr. Falk can't come out with a little bit of extra cash to spend on, you know, discovering maybe stuff. <laughs> discovering getting gas, gas to go look for more meteorites. Yeah, <laughs> All right. yeah that'd be cool. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Falk.